This video will cover the topic, Solving an Absolute Value Equation, Problem Type 2. In this video, we will learn to solve an absolute value equation that has a linear expression in the absolute value set equal to a constant. An example problem we will work out is, the absolute value of 4y plus 12 is equal to 4. We will think of this absolute value equation as being in the form absolute value of a equals b. An absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on a number line, so it is always positive, and any non-zero absolute value will always have two numbers that have that value. For example, the absolute value of negative three is equal to three, but also the absolute value of positive three equals three. Both three and negative three have an absolute value of 3. So would this problem have two answers then? One positive and one negative? Yes, there are two answers. The answers are not necessarily positive and negative, but we will solve the equation with the absolute value being equal to a positive number, and then we will solve it again with the absolute value being equal to a negative. One more time, think of the equation as absolute value of a equals b. If b is greater than 0, then a equals b and a equals negative b. If b is less than zero, then the absolute value equation has no solution because an absolute value cannot be negative. And if b equals zero, then there is only one solution where a equals zero. First of all, let's solve our example problem with the absolute value equal to positive four. So four y plus 12 equals four. Can you solve this equation for y? I think so. I subtract 12 from both sides to result in 4y equals negative 8, and then I divide both sides by 4 to get y equals negative 2. Very good. Now we can solve the equation set equal to negative 4, written as 4y plus 12 equals negative 4. Can you solve this equation too? Yes, I can. If I subtract 12 from both sides again, then the result is 4y equals negative 16. Now I divide both sides by 4 for a result of y equals negative 4. That's right. We see here that the two values of y that make this absolute value equation true are negative 2 and negative 4. This was an example of a case where b is greater than 0. Let's now look at examples where b is less than 0 and where b equals 0. Let's try the absolute value of x minus 4 is equal to negative 7. If we set x minus 4 equal to negative 7, we will then add 4 to both sides for a result of x equals negative 3. But substitute negative 3 back into the absolute value, and the result is the absolute value of negative 7 equals negative 7. This is not true, because the absolute value of negative 7 should be positive 7. Then if we set x minus 4 equal to positive 7, we then have a result of x equals 11. And when we substitute that back into the absolute value, the result is the absolute value of 7 equals negative 7, which is also not true. Therefore, negative 7 is not a possible absolute value, and the equation has no solution. Let's now take a look at the absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals 0. With this, we set 2x plus 3 equals 0, and then we solve for x. We subtract 3 from both sides, and we divide both sides by 2 to find a result of x equals negative 3 halves. This is the only solution, because we won't be able to make 0 positive or negative to get two solutions. Therefore, when an absolute value equation is equal to 0, it has only one solution to the variable. Let me sum this up now. In an absolute value equation written as the absolute value of a equals b, if b is greater than zero, then a equals b or negative b. I can solve the equation a equals b and then solve the equation a equals negative b to find the two solutions. However, if b originally is less than zero, then the absolute value equation has no solution. If b equals zero, then there's only one answer. Nicely summarized.